All right. Well, hey, everybody. Welcome to this special edition of Maryland's Cafe Society radio show right here on YouTube. No, it's not Saturday, June 8th, 2019. <laughs> Unfortunately, you know, my day was so jam-packed on Saturday. And, you know, uh, quite honestly, I just think that somewhere between Saturday and and uh, I'm sorry, Friday and Saturday, I just I just didn't kind of um, utilize my time management skills as best I could. So uh, before I knew it, you know, the day was over and I had not done the show. And yesterday really, truly was a day of rest and relaxation for me. And I'm speaking of Sunday. So I just, you know... I, I just missed the mark on this one, but I did want to get the show up for you. And it's all based on Saturdays, you know, because we had the show ready. It was all prepared, script and everything, and, you know, um, I just didn't have that time to actually get it out to you. So here it is today. Um, I just want to, you know, see how your weekend went, by the way. Um, it was a beautiful weekend here in the Chicagoland area. As I shared with you guys on my social media on Saturday, I anticipated that I would get the show up later on Saturday because um, I had so much going on and a fashion show, another fashion show that I modeled in and this time around I also did the commentary for so, so you know, um, it was a fun weekend for me, no complaints whatsoever and uh, um, again, on yesterday, it was a day of rest and relaxation and just kind of, you know, reconnecting uh, to the source and getting myself together, guys, you know. Uh, sometimes I think we bite off more than we can chew, you know, try to be that superwoman or superman. And, you know, I truly honestly believe the scripture that says all th with God all things are possible. <laughs> and I try to live up to that, but uh, sometimes we stretch ourselves thin. And I know some people you know, who aren't around or close probably are wondering, well, what are you doing? What, I don't ever see you doing anything. You don't have to. Trust me. Uh, my plate is full. But anyway, uh, for all practical purposes, today is Monday. We'll just, we were just getting this show posted. Um, the material that I'm sharing uh, to, with you today is based on as if today was this past Saturday, June 8th, all right? So I hope you understand. All right, so let's get into it. On this day in history, wow, in sports on this day in history, and that would have been Saturday, June 8th, back in 1966, the National Football League and the American Football League announced a merger, which became effective in 1970. You know, the announcement happened four, four years prior to it actually coming to fruition, but... Um, that's when the NFL and the AFL merged. On this day in history, in 1982, the 36th NBA championship game took place. The LA Laker, Lakers beat um, Philadelphia 76 or 2. And also on this day, 1986, for the 40th annual. NBA championship games. The Boston Celtics beat the Houston Rockets four games to two. And as we all know, last year, 2018, on this day in history for the NBA Finals, the Golden State Warriors won their third title in four years with a 108-85 to victory over the Cleveland Cavaliers. And of course, Kevin Durant was named MVP. <clears throat> and speaking of MVPs, make sure that you check out um, my blog from last week. It has to do with most valuable players or persons in your life. So check it out. All right, back to on this day in history real quick. We're all waiting to find out what's going to happen in the NBA Finals as the Warriors take on the Raptors. And I'll talk more about that later on in the show. Uh, one more wrap-up for on this day in history and sports. Serena Williams, back in 2002, defeated her sister Venus Williams. 
to win her first French Open tennis title. And finally, on this day in history and music, it's Black Music History Month. So in 1968, the two Motown singers, um, Marvin Gaye and Tammy Terrell, performing Ain't Nothing Like the Real Thing, uh, reached the top of the Billboard R&B charts. And of course, uh, Tammy Terrell and Marvin Gaye remain one of the most popular duos and popular music along with the prolific songwriters of that particular song, Nick Ashford and Valerie Simpson. Okay, and that concludes on This Day in History, everyone. Now, real quick in Cafe News, <clears throat> um, and for, on the business end, um, I read a, a story, and this, this is important because we all utilize this service and everybody has some kind of dealings with Amazon, right? So, um, I read that FedEx announced that it has decided not to renew its contract, the express contract that is, with Amazon. Now under that express contract, um, FedEx um, handled Amazon's packages in the United States only. Um, but. Um, it, it, the, the side note is they will continue to handle Amazon's packages through its ground network and um, international services. So, you know, uh, we'll uh, just kind of see how that pans out for them now. I'm thinking that perhaps FedEx is kind of beating Amazon to the punch, you know, thinking that Amazon is going to eventually not renew the contract themselves because listen Amazon has been building its own delivery fleet of, of airplanes and trucks and drones and uh, you know we just heard last week that they have even turned to some of their employees um, to encourage them to go into business for themselves as uh, providing delivery services to the company so you know Amazon is quietly trying to get into the delivery business themselves and so um, I think FedEx just kind of beat them to the punch um, they said that they're but you know they said that they are sever severing their air relationship with the e-commerce leader to focus on serving a broader array of retailers which include larger chains like Walmart and Target and even Walgreens now as of today Amazon currently spreads all of its delivery services um, including express services or air services uh, between FedEx UPS and the United States Postal Service. I'm telling you, Amazon is a major beast. I mean, they are kind of jumping into all of the arenas uh, connected to this online retail business that they have. And it's just going to be something to watch. Now, stay tuned. We'll certainly uh, keep our eye on that. And here's some interesting research. Um, according to eMarketer, Americans are spending more time on their mobile devices than they are watching traditional television broadcasts. <gasps> Gasp! <laughs> now, um, they did the research and they say between 2014 and 2019, OTT, which stands for Over the Top or Online Streaming, um, has increased by 34 million people compared to traditional television viewership that has decreased by 12 million people. Now, um, they're saying that digital video time, which includes streaming video via any device, uh, excluding video on social um, media networks, is essentially directly replacing traditional TV time. Adults, it's reported that adults' TV time will drop nine minutes this year, while digital video will jump by eight minutes. Now, um, they're, you know, trying to encourage TV people not to, you know, get too upset about all of this because they're saying that uh, despite television's decrease and mobile's rise, TV still remains a stronghold 
but the decline will be very slow. So although it's strong, it's still going to continue to decline, but at a slower pace. They're also saying that mobile growth is uh, projected to decline as well because we're simply running out of people to introduce <laughs> mobile technology to. It seems that just about everyone who wants a mobile device has one now. So go figure people will watch this too um, this is you know stunning stunning news as many have been watching you know even here on the show for the last 10 years we've kind of been tracking how this this whole new um, idea of technology is going to affect traditional technology specifically media so we'll keep an eye on that and see what happens all right and um, um, as of Saturday um, the stock market has improved. The Dow Jones was up uh, 263.28. The S&P was up also a positive 29.85. And the NASDAQ was up a positive 126.55. Now stocks on the move include Caesars. They were up 35 cents. Um, who else? Barnes & Noble was up 66 cents. Uh... Val Resorts was up $19.02. Now, those who were struggling a bit includes DocuSign Inc. They were down $6.58. Uh, Damo Inc. was also down $1.94. And Guess Incorporated was down $1.26. Oil was remaining strong at $53.99 as was the price of gold up to $1,346.10 and the euro is still hanging in there um, at just a fraction of a penny and that's what's happening in your business news everybody now I did want to just throw out this cafe talk question which um, has to do with that report I just read from, coming from eMarketer on adults spending less time on TV and more time on their mobile devices. So the Cafe Talk question is this, and you can go to any of my social medias to chime in, um, or even here on YouTube. Um, do you think that you spend more time on your mobile device than you do on television compared to, let's just say, 10 years ago? That's our Cafe Talk question. Alright, so moving right along, I do have some entertainment news that I want to share with you only because it was just, you know, such a treat to see this television show. I, I believe, oh my goodness, one, one evening last week, oh my goodness, I don't, I don't recall if it was Tuesday or Wednesday evening, but there was this new television show called Songland. Song Land. And, you know, it's one of those reality talent shows. Um, uh, the twist is, however, that it, it spotlights songwriters. Um, anybody in the industry, uh, particularly music business, know how difficult it is to get into the business and from a perspective of being the performer or the singer. Um, but it's even equally as difficult to get in as a songwriter. And so uh, the producers of this new show called Songland uh, put together this reality show that has a panel of music industry um, songwriters and producers who invite a hit maker um, or an uh, 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 A-list performer singer group. Uh, for example, uh, the first week this show was on, John Legend was the guest. And so this panel of, of uh, hit makers or songwriters um, select a handful of um, little known songwriters and invite them to write a song for the guest. Again, the first week it was John Legend, the second week, which. Uh, well, I think I caught both of them actually. Um, was Will I Am? Now, <clears throat> the songwriters uh, perform the song for the hit maker or the 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 A-lister, John Legend or Will I Am, 
and then you know at some point in the show John Legend and Will I Am select the song that they want to um, use for their next project and so um, the week that John Legend was on he selected a song written by Tebby Burroughs and the song is called We Need Love so it is out there on social media so be sure to check it out I love it and it was written perfectly for John Legend and then um, this past week Will I Am selected three of the four songs that were presented to him he's putting all three on his album and uh, the one that is out and available for you to uh, I think it's released as a single for you to enjoy is called Be Nice. Yes. So they both selected some positive songs. That's what I like too. The songs are, you know, uh, more positive songs as opposed to, you know, some of the, the other stuff that we've been hearing in the last uh, 10, 15 years. So, um, but I thought it was really cool for Will I Am to, um, you know, I said he selected three of the four songs to be on his album, but he also, um, um, offered up the uh, opportunity for him to collaborate with this uh, with the fourth person on their song. It's not going to be on his album, but he's going to be on that person's song. So um, he 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 truly you could see it in his eyes. He enjoyed all of those songs that were presented to him. But anyway, it's called the TV show is called Songland. And it's a show that gives songwriters, not, you know, known songwriters, but little known songwriters an opportunity to, to present their songs to, um, you know, top talent like the John Legends and the Will I Am's. And in the end, they will select one of the songs or in the case of Will I Am, who is uh, part of the Black Eyed Peas music group. Um, he selected, in essence, all of the songs, but only three will make his album. So anyway, check it out. I just wanted to share that with you. If you if you like those kind of talent shows, those singing shows, you know, uh, this is a different take on it, and it's really, really good. All right, so that's what I did. I spent some time, some TV time, on that as well as the NBA. That's why right. I caught that last game. And they will be back tonight, as a matter of fact, uh, for Game 5. The Raptors are leading the series 2-1. to one. And who knew? <laughs> who knew that it would all work out this way? But uh, an exciting series. As I shared um, before, at this point, I could care less because I am a diehard Chicago Bulls fan. I am an East Coaster I, it's hard for me to wrap my head around the Raptors being representing the Eastern Conference because they're not a part of the United States. Although I, I realize that the NBA has, you know, for years included Canada in, in the uh, association. But um, I don't know. I, 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 I like the Warriors now and we've talked about this before for several reasons and I've I've uh, the Raptors have grown on me as well so you know it could be anybody's game as far as I'm concerned I'm rooting for both teams and whoever wins I'm happy with it but anyway it's an exciting series I love it I love it I love it and I can't wait to tune in tonight to see if it's gonna be over and the Raptors are gonna wrap this up or if we're going to go ahead and proceed with game six and seven. All right. All right. And speaking of basketball, the ladies of the NBA are still, you know, their season has, has started. And um, the Eastern Conference leader is still Connecticut with four wins and one loss. And the Western Conference, Minnesota is leading the pack with four wins and one loss. And um, tomorrow, June 11th, that's Tuesday, 7 p.m., you can catch the Chicago Sky as they take on the Phoenix Mercury in their first um, home opener, their first game here at home. So you can just go to chicagosky.net to get more information on that. And currently, 
uh, the Chicago Sky is in fourth place in the Eastern Conference. So uh, we'll see um, how far up they move in um, the league before the season wraps up for them. This is a tough time for the WNBA because their season starts right when the NBA is in their, you know, conference finals and then finally the finals. So, you know, it's a tough it's a tough time to to be kicking off your season, you know, trying to compete for the the viewers and the attention. Um, of the NBA, but we are going to support the ladies of the NBA, right? All right, let's make sure you get your front row seats. Again, you can go to chicagosky.net for more ticket information. And let's see, is that it? Folks, I think that is it for today or <laughs> two days late Saturday show. But just to recap, Cafe Talk, we're going to do some Cafe Talk. Hopefully I'll get some responses on social media and or this YouTube channel. And the question is tied to that report that I read and talked about earlier uh, in the business news section. Um, guys, do you use your mobile devices more than you do your view television now compared to 10 years ago? All right, chime in. I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments on that. Now, remember, you can find me on Twitter. That's Maryland's Cafe Soch, or Facebook, Maryland's Cafe Society. And, of course, right here on YouTube at Maryland's Cafe Society. And you can also go to Society.com to kind of find out more about me and the show and vice versa. All right. Love is on um, Saturday. Love was as sweet as a home baked honey cake. Mm, sounds delicious. All right, everybody. I think that's it. Um, just got to remind you if you don't do anything else this week, be sure that you live, you laugh, and you love. Oh, um, um, and for this week's blog, which I plan to get up and running. By Wednesday of this week, no later than Thursday. Um, just look for a few pictures. We, you know, in the fashion show, we didn't have a professional photographer taking pictures, so we just had a few people snapshots. So um, I'll try to get some pictures from the fashion show up on the blog. So make sure that you uh, check out the blog. I would say by Thursday of this week. Okay. All right. So. Um, yeah. So anyway, <laughs> remember to live, to laugh, and to love. Um, as always, it's been a pleasure and a privilege. And I look forward to us talking again next Saturday right here on YouTube at Maryland's Cafe Society. Peace, everybody. Enjoy the week.